hello here is my long overdue update I know I have been teased a little bit because it's been so long and I'm sorry <laughs> um, even people teased me about my fish tank video They're like well we'd rather hear from you than the fish tank I was like but the fish tank's more fun <laughs> Um, I know I, I truly am overdue on the update, so I am truly sorry for that. I just haven't had the heart for quite a while. Um, I think I needed a break from it, from putting myself out, out there, um, exposed to people, exposing my feelings and stuff. Sometimes, to be honest, you know, doing the whole videos thing, it's so against my nature. It's not something I like to do. I'm a highly introverted person. And it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable exposing your feelings and your heart out there on topics that mean so much to you at times. Trying to think through these things and then having somebody just blow it off or say mean things or mock you. Um, various things. And grant you, I get many, many kind comments too. And please don't under estimate that for a second and please don't stop the edifying things because without those I probably would have hit the delete button a long time ago um, but anyway I I am an emotional person and those things do bother me I try not to let them but they do sometimes um, we're each responsible before God what we say and I do forgive the people who have made some really cruel and cutting marks. Um, I genuinely do forgive them and I hope that they can find peace with God. I still a lot of times will have those remarks rolling around my head. Anyway, all that aside, um, I feel like I'm a little more mentally ready to come back to this. I started two last weekend and got halfway through and couldn't do it. So, but right now I think I'm good. So, at the very least, I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I did go through last weekend, and I didn't delete videos, but I did make a lot of them private, and it was mostly just weight loss videos. The reason why I did that is because with this weight loss journey, it's probably, yeah, it's actually probably been even harder than any of the videos, really. You know, talking about covering or, you know, things like that. The weight loss is such a such a deeply personal thing to me, um, because it's something I'm so ashamed of myself about, the fact that I am so big, but, and it's been a hard journey, I've had lots of trips up, trip ups, and as a lot of you know from following the old videos, I had gotten to where I had lost 67 pounds and was storming ahead and doing wonderful, and the update that, on that, that I'm sure quite a few of you have wondered what's happened. I shamefully admit, yes, I have regained nearly all of it. Multiple reasons for that. I, I don't mean these as excuses. They are what they are, and I take responsibility for my actions, my sin, my gluttony, and just plain bad decisions. Um, you look back over them now, and you're like, why did I do that? What was I thinking? And that's easier now. But at the time, it seemed like it made sense to do. First, I got sidetracked because I was so frustrated trying to find out what was making my joints swell. Even after losing 67 pounds, I still had swelling joints. It was driving me nuts, and it was actually still de debilitating. Um, so I started playing with the diet. I started changing it around. I started doing a thing called eat more to weigh less. Of basically trying to make sure you're getting better nutrition, so you bring your calories and your carbs and things up. So I did that, tried to level off and reset, which my body probably did need after eating at a cut for so long. But I, I kept it up and I just kept letting those numbers creep up to the point that I eventually kind of quit logging. Um, started reading more and found out like the thyroid meds weren't that great that I was on, so I switched to a more natural one thinking that would help, because I was also having things like a lot of hair loss, way abnormal amount for me. Anyway, switched to thyroid med and went to a more natural one, and my weight came
came on just at an unprecedented weight, just unprecedented gain. I think there was one week where it was about a 10 pound gain and I really didn't do that bad, I thought. But it is what it is. I was surprised to see how much the thyroid medicine I had been on helped. So it took me longer than I would have liked to open my eyes about realizing that did have an effect. It wasn't just me, it's a little bit of both. And it took me a while to realize that and then I did go to the doctor finally and get switched back onto the original one, the Synthroid I was on. I know it's not the best thing and I know a lot of people were worried about me taking it, but it seemed to be a lot more of a help because there were other signs that I don't want to talk about on video, um, things that happened that showed me it, it was working better than the natural, I'm afraid, and believe me, I am a big proponent of natural things, but for me, that did not work. It is what it is, and being so overweight, I think, is far more deadly than that synthetic medication. Um, I have been trying to work on a Bible study called Setting Captives Free from the Lord's Table. First, I started doing it online, and I found it really profound. I decided to buy the book and continue it privately, but I do recommend that. A small caution is, if you go into that, I do think they can kind of go into a faith of works thing a little bit. So just be aware of that and be cautious of it. But all in all, it's got a lot of really good valid points, and I am trying to continue in that. I feel like I don't have enough quiet time sometimes to really sit down and focus on that as much as I want. Um, there's several things that I've kind of tried to do. There was a book called, uh, actually I can't remember what it's called. It's by John Piper. It was really, really good on um, fasting and just making sure that when you eat, you eat for God's glory. Um, a lot of good stuff I've been working on, reading and doing. I have been getting back to my food logging on my fitness pal. I have not gone away from my fitness pal. I've had like a day break here and there, but here recently I've stayed with my logging. I got back to that. And I just find that something I just need. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be able to stop that. I just really need to have that accounting for what I put in my mouth. Um, it is what it is. But regardless, I'm glad it's a tool that's out there. And of course a journal would work too, but my fitness pal makes it a little easier. And there's lots of other sites and things that can do that. Um, but anyway, I'm back trying. Yeah, I was stupid and I gained a lot. And yeah, a lot of it's my own fault. Switching the med was dumb, probably, to start with, but I thought I was doing a good thing. Anyway, I'm going back to it, so I'm going back to trying to get it off, and it's not an easy thing, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know how much I'll update on that. I found trying to do updates too often just really stressful. I, I don't know. I feel like I need to maybe be a little more private there. I don't know. I'm sure maybe I'll take an ocean one day and update y'all. Hopefully things will go good with it. I don't know. Um, I don't know that they really help people or not on that particular score. Um, I know my YouTube channel probably has a lot more people subscribing for the religious and head covering reasons. And then I know there's quite a few of y'all who are looking for sewing videos. So, And that is something I would like to continue doing. I really haven't had a lot of time to sew lately. Um, that is another big change. I don't think I've done a video since I sold my business. I am not covered for him's owner anymore. I sold that. Um, my husband and I talked about it and we decided it was just too much in my season of life. I just felt like I couldn't keep up. I felt like I can't give my children enough attention and so forth and run a little home business. It was doing well enough that um, back at the beginning of the year, I put the for sale sign out and took bids on it. And another sister did go ahead and purchase that from me, and I have felt a lot of relief and peace from that. Part of me misses selling a little from or selling for the public, but the pressure of having orders and things do. I don't have that now, so that's it's good <laughs> at least for me for right now. Um, so much of my day during the week is taken up with homeschooling. It takes a lot longer than I ever thought it would, especially right now because my children are so young. So 
anyway it's just all about balance it seems like there's never enough hours in the day for everything um let's see but yeah all in all i'm not the owner on that i wanted to make sure that i told you guys because i know a lot of my older youtube videos still have links in them for cover cream's website and i'm probably not going to go take those down i think it's a it's sweet sister who bought the business and i don't see any reason to go you know, removing all the links just be aware just so you're not misled that i'm not the owner anymore um of course i still you know have my machines and still want to sew because we still you know, have our own personal family needs of sewing and things like that and when I do sit down to do projects I will try my best to remember to get the tripod and camera out and start filming maybe little steps and things like that because I know many of you have asked for you know can you do a you know video on this or that I know I think blind him is one I really badly need to do for somebody anyway I will try to do those as I can I've got a bedspread I really need to remake our bedspread it's fallen apart after so many years so it's one project I've got to do I badly need to sew new dresses for me and my daughter new coverings even it is there's a lot of sewing I need to do I just need to find time to do it um but all in all I I think that probably updates most of the major things of what people have followed before um if I've missed anything or if anybody has any major questions please ask me um, I just feel like I'm saying um a lot, like nervously with the camera, <laughs> sorry. The blog, I wanted to remind you guys about the written blog that's out there. I know it doesn't get nowhere near as many, um, people, I'm not doing it again, people clicking on it is what the YouTube channel does, but it is a little bit easier for me a lot of times to get that updated and get articles written out there. And I usually usually don't do updates on YouTube or on the blog unless it's something I'm glad to do. The exception to that is like if it's a how-to blog, like obviously, you know, I feel like I have to have a specific leading to do how-to videos. I do want to try to do more things on my blog to have the how-tos and thoughts and things out there because I want there to be something out there that just in case God should call me home early while I still have these young children, that they can have some sort of a place where I have have writings and videos and things like that to go to to see about who their mama was and what mama believed and anything I can to direct my babies to, to know Jesus. I want them to be able to go out there and find how to's, well how did mom make bread or how did mom do this, so I do plan on doing things like that, I know I've probably said that before, it's just a matter of me getting that camera out and I know I need to do it, but I want there to be these things out there, if anything for them, I know a lot of you guys are grown adults and most of that stuff you, you don't care about, and that's alright, if you just want to click on by, that's no skin off my back. Um, I just want these things to be out there for my kids on the, the how-to stuff. Anyway, if there is something y'all want or, you know, or just dying to know or what have you, just ask me a question or what have you. And if I, if I can, I will do my best to get to it as the good Lord and time allow. I hope y'all have a very blessed day. <laughs>